You guys seem to like that intro, so there you go. Uh, how you doing, guys? Got a coffee? So you know what time it is. Mm. I've even got a biscuit. I've got a bloody biscuit. Uh, this week has been ups and downs. Um, yeah. Mm. Some bastard stole my crypto. Man in the middle attack. Um, I posted about it on the Discord. Um, yeah, someone actually uh, got into my network and um, stole my login sessions and um, pretended to be me and purposely looked for crypto accounts. They didn't look at my Discord, they didn't look at my YouTube or anything. Uh, they, they purposely looked for my crypto which means one of two things they watched my facebook because i posted on facebook that i made my first crypto purchase which means it's someone that knows me which is fucking just does my head in or um someone was just scraping with a uh, a botnet and i just managed to unfortunately be a sad little fish that got caught in that uh, in that net. Uh, Thames Valley Cyber Crimes is investigating. I won't hold my breath though. You know, I mean, it, it is what it is, guys. You know, it is what it is. I ain't gonna hold my breath. Uh, if it happens, it, 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 they're going to get you, they'll get you. you know? um, thing is, I have a VPN. I have um, secu I have antivirus. I have uh, firewalls. I've got security. You know? And, um, yeah. But, guys, it is what it is. You know? It is what it is. Um, am I upset? Oh, yeah, dude. I'm, I'm, I may look calm. That's because of the Xanax. <laughs> I'm not even joking. That's because of the Xanax. Um, a very big part of me wants to find out whoever did it and do horrible, mean things to them. But I'm not going to do that. That's not me. I'm not going to do that. And there's reasons why I'm not going to do that. Because it solves nothing. It serves no purpose. I get a little bit of aggression out. I could do that by going to the gym and hitting the, the heavyweight, the heavy bags, you know? Hell, I could buy my own heavy bag and uh, set it up and just wail on it for a couple of hours. Still the same feeling. I'm not, I'm not dwelling on it, though. Good news, though. There's a little bit of good news in this. Uh, I'm almost up to 500 subscribers. I think I'm about two subscribers away from 500. In fact, let me check. I figured I might as well check while I'm here. Why the hell not? What the hell not? We are at 497. We are three subscribers away. Three away from 500. And if I ever... It, 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 when, not if. When I break that, that 500 mark. I... Um, I'm, I'm going to be quite happy. I've been posting a lot of videos of late, like going on full grind, um, uh, and I've got another one, like this one's going to be coming up, and then after that I've got, 
uh, a painting session later on today. Uh, I'm just waiting on some uh, packages to get to me from Amazon. In fact, let me just track them real quick. Oh. Oh. And that would be my compressor burping at me. My orders. Well, they are out for delivery. Two fifteen to four fifteen. So, any time now. So after four o'clock today, uh, I will be going live. Uh, it's a super glue debonder and some resin for my three D printer. Um, because I need to rebase um, some of my Death Guard miniatures. They're on the wrong size bases. And they're super glued on, so I need super glue debonder to debond the super glue so I can take them off. Um, what else? Yeah, I'm, I'm a couple of steps ahead on the uh, tally man. Hey, Mr. Tally Man. Um, and I've got to finish off the wings on. Um, The Chaos Knight, and I've got to figure out a way of mounting Mortarian's wings so I can get some primer on them. That'll be fun. Uh, so that's what I've got planned for today, and uh, so I'll be rebasing some of the uh, Death Guard on the correct bases. Uh, also, painting some uh, Pox Walkers as well, uh, trying to get this 2000 point army together. Uh, just cause. Uh, I've also got a, 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 a predator over there. Uh, I might turn into a whirlwind instead. So I have got to just replace the turret with a missile rack and turn it into a whirlwind instead. So that'll be fine. Yeah, I'll be fine. But uh, yeah, I've also got some new paints. I'm going to be trying out. Uh, it's always good to experiment. So yeah, I've got some things I need to get to, uh, done. I also need to clean up that table because that table's a mess. There's too many paints out. I've also got to um, refile structure my STLs because uh, they're an absolute mess. They're all over the place. So I'm gonna go in there and clean up the file structure. I uh, also got um, 40k Armada 2, um, so that's, let me take a quick look, uh, yeah, Battlefleet, is it Battlefleet Gothic? Yeah, Battlefleet Gothic Armada 2, uh, with the Chaos Expansion uh, DLC, uh, that was on my wish list and someone gifted it to me, so thank you whoever it was, I can't remember your name offhand, thank you. Um, look forward to seeing a review of that uh, here soon. Um, so yeah, guys, there are there are some ups to some things that's been going on. So a couple of the major downs. Um, I'll be in London Tuesday, Wednesday. No, Wednesday. I'll be in London Wednesday. Uh, going to the hospital. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm going for moral support uh, for a friend. And uh, I'll be spending time with my daughter, so that'll be fun. We're gonna go have some brunch. Uh, knowing her, it's probably just gonna be something cheap and cheerful, like a sandwich from Greg's or something. So she's on this health kick right now, so it probably won't even be Greg's. It'll probably be like Whole Foods or some shit. Um, so yeah, she's on a big health kick right now. My daughter, good, that's good for her. She's going to the gym. Um, she's also. Um, Working with uh, uh, little babies in a nursery. She, what she wants to do, she wants to take a break from um, working in, well, 
going to uni, she wants to take a year's break. Most students do take a year hiatus. She wants to take a little hiatus and uh, work in a nursery. And I could not be more proud of her. Uh, some of the children at this nursery have special needs. Um, and she is doing her very best to help these children. And I could not be more proud of her. She is an absolute angel. She really is. Uh, and I mean that I could not be more proud of my daughter. Uh, <laughs> uh, she makes me incredibly happy in my heart. She really does. Um, she uh, goes out of her way to uh, make others happy. And I could not be more proud of her. I really couldn't. Um, Sorry guys, just every time I talk about my daughter, every time I think about my daughter, I just I just get happy. <laughs> I'm that proud of her. Um, I genuinely think that parents should take pride in their children. They took they should take pride in their children succeeding and doing better and Because ultimately that's that's what I want for my daughter. I want her to do better. I want her to be better. I want her to uh, to go far in life. I know it's it's hard for people to understand this, but I do. I want her to go as far as she can in life. Because she's amazing she really is and we talked for oh it felt like hours and uh, I know it wasn't because you know I, I know that uh, but I love talking to my daughter I love spending time with my daughter she's my best fucking friend um, you got to understand when I say that I say that with I say that with all the love in my heart when I say she's my best fucking friend. She is my best fucking friend. Um, <laughs> she... There's, there's an old saying. <laughs> there's a very old saying, which is, you know, some of your best friends are friends that just appear in your life. And that's true. Some of your best friends are friends that just appear in your life. I made my best friend. Don't get me wrong. I, I have friends. I, I do. I have friends who I consider very close to. Um, but. <laughs> but. Um, me and my daughter are just so, so alike. We're so, <laughs> she's literally a female copy of me. She has the same attitude as me. She gives people the same side eye as me. She thinks like me. She acts like me. Um, <laughs> I could not be more proud of a father, knowing that that is my daughter. And. Just talking about it makes me smile. And, um, she's quite literally the love of my life. I would do anything for her. Um, and she knows it too. And she doesn't abuse that. Most girls, when they realize they're the apple of their dad's eye, they will start abusing it and, and saying, well, maybe if I do this, maybe if I do that, dad will do this, dad will do that. My daughter does not not do that at all. She doesn't do that at all. Um, if she wants something, and I mean that, if, if, if she wants something, and she needs something of me. She doesn't just 
She doesn't worm her way around it. She just comes straight out and she looks at me and goes, Dad, could you do this for me, please? See, notice the words, do this for me, please. You know? And nine times out of ten, I just look and say, yeah, sure, darling, what was it you need? Yeah, and I'll go do it. You know, whatever it is, I'll do it. Why? Because she's my daughter. And, you know, I, me and my daughter are, we're good. We're amazingly good. And I absolutely adore my daughter. I would do anything for her. I really would. Because my daughter is fundamentally, without me even... <laughs> without me even thinking twice about it, is my... Like I said, she's my best friend. She... She gets me. She doesn't judge me. And I get her and I don't judge her. I love her for who she is and she loves me for who I am. Yes, I'm her father. And there are times when, you know, I have to be uh, the stern father and talk to her. Not that I am... A, uh, not that I ever am that all the time because sometimes I don't even have to be mean sometimes all I've got to do is just look at her you know like really feckin really huh? and then nine times out of ten it's like uh oh uh, maybe, maybe not maybe not And, um, so yeah, it's, I, when it comes to my daughter and, and, and whatnot, I've been here in the UK now five years and back in the UK, I should say for five years now. And I made a deal with her, which is, I'm not leaving the US, I'm not leaving the UK for the US, which is my getting end goal, uh, until I get her blessing. And right now she said to herself, she goes, Dad, I'm going to be a bit selfish and I want to keep a hold of you for as long as I can. <laughs> and I don't blame her, I don't. Uh, see, I lost my father when I was 10 years old. Um. Yeah, he passed away due to uh, what I like to call personal stupidity. Drinking, smoking, um, lack of exercise, um, things of that nature. It was a combination of things that caused him to that caused him to end up the way he did this is why I don't drink not like he did uh, I don't smoke at all um, like I said I'm, I'm majority straight edge and the reason why I'm majority straight edge is because I choose to be it is because I not only do I choose to be but because I want to be uh, because I I feel that we are all better off don't get me wrong I'm all for, for you know when you're younger and your body can take it I'm all for you exploring and, and, and doing your own thing if you want to open up your third eye and, and take some natural hallucinogenics, you know, go for it, you know, go for it, not that, I, again, not that I am condoning drug use, so chill the fuck out, YouTube, right, I am not, I, I'm not condoning drug use, so 
literally, bruh, 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 Ch chill the fuck out. All I am saying is when you are younger and you can physically handle it, okay, because right now most people can't physically handle it. And that's the problem that a lot of people face is, you know, they're like, well, what the hell are you talking about? What do you mean, what the hell do you mean, what am I talking about? You know what I'm talking about. When you are younger, your body can handle a lot more things, a lot more. And when you're older, your metabolism slows down, things, you know, start to crick and crack and... You know, before you know it, sadly, you can't do things that you used to do. And as horrible as that is, it's the truth. And this is why I say to people, if you're going to do anything, do it when you're younger. That way you can use it as a learning experience not to do it when you're older. When you can't recover. Um, been going to the gym. And been doing uh, calisthenics or lazy man's yoga, as one of the guys at the gym called it. Uh, I'm working on my core, so you know, my, my my belly and whatnot. Um, and I'm doing some heavy weights to work on my arms, so I can get my, as you can see, I can get my size back. Um, and yeah, so I've been taking care of myself, and this video's been going on for far too long been waffling on about my daughter so I'm sorry about that guys but mm. coffee's done which means the video's done so I'll see you guys in the next one